Hi. So today, let us have a look at different theories which were put forward to measure the intelligence of a person. The first noted theory was proposed by Charles Peirce in 1904. Now, what he did is he proposed that each intellectual task required two different type of factors to perform to be performed. Now, consider these two tasks. The first one is a numerical task. The second one is the verbal task. Now, to perform a numerical task, we require a skill set S, okay, and to perform the verbal task, we require a skill set S2. Now, now what happens is there is some set of skills which are required, which are the common skill factors which are required to perform both these tasks. Now, there are two set of tasks which are required. One is the S, that is the specific factor. and the second one is g which is a general factor which is present in both the tasks now this g factor is the one which is responsible for the intelligence of a person so so what spearman did is he designed a test to measure the general factor of a person whereas he completely neglected the specific factors now as he neglected the specific factors so that's the drawback of this theory the specific factors were responsible a little responsible in some amount to measure the intelligence of a person so what turnstone did is he redefined the theory and named it as group factor theory now he completely changed the shape of the theory what he did is he defined different group of different tasks for example the numerical group is different the verbal group is different the memorizing power is different and all these seven groups were defined by him now for each task we need one factor the numerical task requires the n factor the verbal task requires the b factor so he designed a test which is called as test of primary mental abilities to measure all these factors and the confluence of these factors the addition of the factors will give you the intelligence of a person so now even this theory has certain drawbacks some practical disadvantages so what veron did is he combined both the theories the two factor theory as well as the group factor theory and he came up with his own theory now what veron did is a smart work you know he he just didn't have he just did very smart work he saw that the two factor theory actually had a high level of correlation with the practical results so what he did is he categorized intelligence into four different stages the first one the higher prioritization that was given to the g factor now the g factor was responsible was highly responsible for the intelligence of a person the second comes the different groups two intellectual groups which were responsible the third one is the minor groups which were responsible and the last one is the specific factors which were responsible for the intelligence of a person so according to him we need to measure all these to get the intelligence of a person now veron's theory was not a new discovery it was just the mixture of the two theories now in 1985 what steinberg did is he just uh, wiped out all these and he made a simple classification for the intelligence he in fact instead of measuring intelligence as a, as a single term he measured intelligence in three different categories the first one being the analytical intelligence the second one being the creative intelligence and the third one being the practical intelligence now analytical intelligence basically means the problem solving techniques of an individual how an individual is able to solve the problems on his own the second creative intelligence means how is able to use the past experiences to solve the problems in the present that is the creative intelligence and the last one that is the practical intelligence how a person is able to adapt to the changes in the environment or the changes in a situation given to him now all these all these parameters were checked by the iq test which we call it as intelligent quote test and the intelligent quote of a person is to be known what is it so these were the theories which were put forward to measure the intelligence